Welcome to Smarter Circuits. I'm your host, Ian Klein. And in today's video, you'll notice I'm in the shop again. The reason for that is because I want to dive into the Shelly Pro 4PM a little bit. And this time, I mean actually dive into it. I'm going to take apart my 4 Pro and, or my Pro 4PM, and I'm going to show you what is inside and what makes this thing tick and why I think it's so reliable. So let's get started. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. This, by the way, is a contactor. I'll be doing a video on that uh, very soon, um, obviously. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and take the back off of this. Uh, you can see the, the diagram there. There's something in here that the diagram doesn't really allude to that I want to make clear about this. You can use one hot going into the um, the load terminal on the or the line terminal on this because it has a um, a bridge across all of those terminals. However, just because you can doesn't mean you should. One reason why they want you to use a hot per is because the rating of the wire itself going in. So if you do only use one hot going in and then you use the others to go to switches or something like that, um, I would recommend keeping your load below the rating of that incoming wire despite the rating of the things inside the relay here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this piece out. I have had this apart once already, so I have already disconnected the screen wire that was in here, um, or the, the little ribbon cable, which I will put back later. You can see it there. So you see um, this ribbon cable meets up with this connector here, and then uh, that four pin connector inside of there meets up with that four pin right there. Uh, and then this board also comes off just like that. So now we can actually look at what's going on here. And it's interesting, the two sections of this device. I'm not going to go into a, a lot of detail about what each of these things does. Um, there's actually some line conditioning in here. The These right here are shunt resistors. Those are to assist in the measurement of the current going through these relays. Uh, and then that actually relays it back. Let me see if I can see. If I remember correctly, this is the metering. And then this is actually just an I.O. chip that allows it to cycle through all of these and um, and test them and also turn them on and off. There's some I.O. logic there that goes through this and to this board, which this is the one that is super interesting to me. Um, I wasn't able to get data. Let me look at this. I wasn't able to get specific data on these two chips. I'm pretty sure that that's another memory module. This is definitely flash memory. I think that's what that is as well. Um, but this is the chip, this one right here. This is the one that we're super interested in. That is an ESP32 microprocessor. So you know, uh, or you may know, I do a lot of projects with Raspberry Pi Picos, which have the RP2040. This is actually uh, a little bit more robust of a microprocessor than that RP2040. There are tons and tons of products that use the ESP32 um, chipset. And that's just a system on chip. You should look it up if you're into, you know, hobby electronics. A lot of your hobby electronics are going to have this ESP32 microprocessor. Um, and that allows this thing to do all kinds of cool stuff. And it's a very robust, very reliable uh, platform to build on. 
So that is one of the reasons why I love the Shelly 4 Pro, uh, the Shelly 4, the Shelly Pro 4 PM, excuse me, the Shelly Pro 4 PM relay module because that guy right there, the ESP32. Um, I'm not going to get into trying to hack it or anything like that because frankly, I don't think you need to. The software that they put on that chip, the software that comes on this module is pretty awesome as it is. And it's not super um, invasive on your network or anything like that. Like I haven't found any naughty secrets in it. Let's put it that way. Um, but it's a pretty, pretty robust little device. And as you can see, these are just your standard solid state relays. Uh, these are 16 amp relays. I think they, they say on there that they're 16 amp per channel uh, max with a 40 amp max current on the entire device. You shouldn't really be getting anywhere near that, honestly, for, for whatever, you know, if you're just using this for lighting and that sort of thing. Um, I think the most that I put through mine, in all honesty, is, well, probably about 300 watts. So not even 3 amps. But anyway, so that's it. That's the inside of the Shelly 4 Pro uh, relay module. And I will probably be doing more things like this where I take these things apart and just kind of briefly explain everything. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I am not an electronics engineer. Uh, if you want to see things in more detail like that, go check out Big Clive. But um, I'm just doing this for a little bit of peace of mind, for anybody who's interested in looking at what's inside of this, uh, of these devices and seeing um, just how robust are the innards. This one, as far as I can tell, pretty doggone robust. Um, and again, take that for what it's worth. I'm only going off of the other devices that I have experience with that have the same ESP32 architecture. Uh, I know that these are pretty good relays um, and what little I know of line conditioning and that sort of thing. This is actually a pretty good little device. So there you have it. That's it. I'm done.